All right, back for round number three. I don't like this hand at all. Uh, you just need too much. You you need your draws to be way too precise, in my opinion. This hand's much worse. You have no lightning bolt. The dispel doesn't really do anything. The pause blessing is not doing anything. It's not doing anything. You need two lands for this. Okay, I get. I'll I'll work with this. Um, I'm gonna keep that. I'm just gonna try to go a beat down type of plan. I mean, I could put it to the bottom. I don't really think that's a good idea. Affinity. This matchup can go either way. Affinity has a lot of good sideboard cards against me. Um, I can be too fast for Affinity. It really is just a race. After board, depending on what my opponent has uh, in their sideboard, of course, because it is Affinity, you do get access to all five colors, it could be bad. I don't have anything specifically against Affinity because... You don't really need anything specifically against Affinity. You could actually just beat Affinity straight up if you wanted to. But I, mean, I did Mulligan to 5, so we'll, we'll see how that works. Alright, my opponent does have the somewhat Nutter Butter draw. And we, fl <laughs> we flipped the good old Dispel. Alright. Get in for 3. So, our perfect draw would be probably Gush into, let's see, Gush into Jutaxian Probe slash Preordain slash Ponder, and Timur Battle Rage. That would be our perfect draws. Never mind, I forget what I just said, because my opponent killed my Kiln Fiend. And said go. But they did not attack... Oh, they did attack for three. Oh, no, no, no. They used it to pay the runner. I'm stupid. Okay, that's not bad either. So, we'll go ahead and play this. Attack for three. So, it looks like my opponent is on a good draw. But, unfortunately, usual problem with affinity. Only one land. So. I know that type of draw all too well. So, my opponent decided to attack for two. I'm going to take it, of course. I don't really see the point in not. Uh, if they go to kill my Kiln Fiend, I will dispel the crap out of whatever they play. Most likely going to be a Galvanic Blast, of course. I wonder if you can make a control version of Affinity. How that would work, I... I don't know. <laughs> Hello. You're an interestingly good card. Well... 8, 9, 10, 11. I guess I could just Shadow Rift my Kiln Fiend and see what I get. If I draw a land, I can go for it. We'll see. My opponent tries to kill it. Because uh, I have to... Okay, well, I can't really go for it. Because if my opponent has another Galvanic Blast, it's just not a good look. My opponent is trying their hardest to represent the Galvanic Blast, and they could easily have it, so... Also, the Timur Battle Rage could win on the Insectal Aberration a couple of turns, since my opponent is now going to 7. So that is another thing. My opponent is still trying their hardest to represent a Burn Spell. They did not use it. I still like my play of not doing... I'm not going for it. Okay. I mean, I don't lose by not going for it. I don't... I also don't win by not going for it, but still, I don't like going for it there. So my opponent has access to three mana, has five artifacts in place, so whatever Frogmite they play is still super zero. In fact, they maybe you could even cost negative one in some games of Magic, and you could net a mana. <laughs> you imagine that? <laughs> oh, man. My opponent still said go. So we'll go ahead and attack for four, and if my opponent does not block, I win the game. Or actually, I could just go Timur Battle Range now and try to win the game. I mean, I don't know what my opponent can do other than having two removal spells. Uh, right. That's right, right? Yeah, that's right. 
So, for anyone wondering why the the Kiln Fiend should get Trample, Ferocious says, uh, that creature gains Trample until end of turn. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater... Oh, everyone had Fling. Alright, well, we're going to try to counter the Fling. Um, before the Team of Battle Rage resolves, Kiln Fiend's ability resolves, making it a 4 power creature. So, you know. We won. So my opponent had Fling, so I was correct that they actually had something, so it was actually better to... Not attack, uh, which is interesting. So, I don't think Hydro Blast is very good, because uh, Dispel can counter uh, Perilous Research if my opponent has it. Um, or Lightning Bolt, or anything like that. Flame Slash, I think I do want to bring in, just to try and stem the bleeding a bit. It's probably better than Gutshot, or Mutagenic Growth. Uh, I don't like the Stormbound Geist. I'm not really too big on the Echoing Truths. I don't really think I need a third Dispel, but probably safe to bring it in. Could probably shave off one probe. And I still like Apostle's Blessing. Probably take out one Shadow Rift. And bring in the last Flame Slash. I don't know if that's going to guarantee be good, but I guess we can see if it will be. My opponent seemed to have a burn heavy hand, which my hand was uh, good at taking advantage of, so. We keep this hand. It's a good hand. Got a turn one Delver, two attacking probe, got a lightning bolt, a couple lands. Mm, could be worse. Alright, we're going to Delver Secrets. I, uh, I don't think there's a point in going to Taxing Probe right now. Shaz Cartman from uh, South Park. God, how that show has gone downhill. Alright, i take one. No way that I'm blocking. <laughs> Did my opponent keep the one land plan? No, did not keep the one land plan. Get the double C the side knot hand though. Oh, alright, well, you know. Alright. My opponent casts Thought Cast. And we got an island. That's unfortunate. Well, kind of unfortunate, but not really. Let's go ahead and ponder. Apostle's Blessing, Getaxian Probe, Island. I think I want to shuffle that. And the reason why is my opponent's going to be able to play more creatures than me, and faster, and I'm pretty sure that Ponder's bugged. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not bolting that guy, so we're just going to get Taxi and Probe my opponent. Not gushing, either. I could have left it to flip my uh, Delver, but, you know, ooh. Oh, well... <laughs> Hydro Blast would have been in against this hand. Uh, so maybe Hydro Blast is actually worth bringing in. I never usually needed it against Affinity, but could be good. All right, well we got Cyclops, so hopefully my opponent Galvanic Blasts my Delver if and when it flips. Now the problem is I'm not going to really be able to stop an Atog, so that's going to be a problem. Then again, my opponent did not have any red mana, so they will have to decide, do I want a Galvanic Blast, or do I want to cast a Tog? I guess we'll see which one they desire. They must have drawn something that they want to cast. I'm a little surprised that they played the Ancient Den before sacking the Chromatic Star, because they could have drawn into a Great Furnace. Uh, but, I don't, what do I know? <laughs> ah, Prophetic Prism. Okay, so I guess... Right, they did have that in hand, so I guess they can do whatever they want now. I hope my Delver flips so that my opponent is likely to Galvanic Blast it on my upkeep. I would highly appreciate my Delver flipping, just in general. Okay, or that. Uh, it did flip. Sweet. Um... I guess we'll just play the Nivik Cyclops past the turn. Hopefully my opponent waits to Galvanic Blast it so that I can counter it. 
It's possible that taking out Bolt again is just the right call here. I keep on wanting to keep in Bolt just because, I, I admit, just because it is Lightning Bolt. But the problem with Lightning Bolt is Hydro Blast is just better. <laughs> okay. I'm fine with sacking the Chromatic Star to get a red. Probably just casting a Tog. Oh. Alright. My opponent's playing smart. They're going to get Atlantic Blast it now. I appreciate my opponent's play smart. Nah, not really. <laughs> I don't play smart. Why should my opponents play smart? <laughs> Obviously, that was a joke. Alrighty, then. So my opponent has two cards in hand. One of them is an Atog. The other one is a Blank, if I remember correctly. I do die, unless I block the Atog, so I cannot actually attack. So hopefully we hit a Kiln Fiend here, or a Nivik Cyclops. Alright, we hit a Kiln Fiend. Hopefully my opponent cannot do anything to it. So we'll go ahead and play Kiln Fiend, and then uh, pass the turn. And now we just have to hope that my opponent cannot do anything to my Kiln Fiend. Four, five, six, seven. We go to six, so I can't afford to actually... Well, of course, I could always block the germ, so... Alright. Dark Steel Citadel. Citadel. I know it's Citadel. I just like calling it stupid things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so my opponent is attacking with everybody, so I'm going to block and block. I mean, I don't... Unless my opponent brought in Gutshot or Kark Clan Shaman, which would kill this anyway, I don't see the point in not blocking the germ. Unless I am just that stupid. And believe me, I have my moments where I'm that stupid. I guess I could also point out, on the other hand, if my opponent drew a fling, I am dead. Unless I top deck a dispel. Then I'm not dead. I already drew a dispel, though, right? Oh, no, that was the last game. Alright, so the germ is dead. I'm at seven. And I'm dead to an Atog. Dead in the water. My opponent sacked the Darksteel Citadel, of course, because it does not produce any colored mana of any sort. I did not bring in Flaring Pain because it's not particularly popular to see Affinity Decks play Cop Red. So, I didn't think of bringing it in. I know my opponent has another Atog. So... Yeah. Is my opponent just casting a Atog? I sure hope so. He's flinging my Kiln Fiend instead of killing me. Huh? Okay. Alright. Guess we'll cast Gush and try to hit something. I don't know. I I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. Like even if I oh, I, I see. So if I counter it, he doesn't lose this turn. I get it. I get it. Okay. Well my my kiln fiend's dead. Uh yeah, we can't actually win, because now any creature I play, I have to keep chumping a tog every turn, and then I just die, so... We're actually just dead. Flint killed us anyway! So I'm going to take out the Lightning Bolts. And I'm going to bring in the Hydro Blasts. And... I don't really think there's a point in bringing anything else. I could bring in the Echoing Truth, although that does not seem very fruitful. I'll just bring in the Cataxian Probe, just try it. Excuse me. Try to go as hyper aggro as possible. See how that works. It's kind of like that card in Hearthstone. The guy, when he comes in, he's like, uh, sometimes I, you know, I, I forget things. I forget everything. Maybe I'm 70 years old. And I just have, like, I don't know, dementia or something. Um, not going to cast the Cataxian Probe just yet. I'd rather cast it when I need to actually start forming a game plan. I don't have another one drop. Dang. Okay, that's fine. Just go ahead and sack this. Get an island. I really wish... You know, one thing I do miss, but I know it, that it's better this way, I do miss that the stack is not here anymore. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Now we'll go ahead and probe. Uh, no, we're not going to probe. That'd be dumb. There's no point in probing. If my opponent 
as a way to kill my Nimic Cyclops. I can't really do anything about it. And I can't play a fourth land next turn anyway. Okay, that has to be off the top. I guess I have to imagine my opponent would have cast it last turn instead of this Relief Drum. So that's cool. Alright, so my opponent cast Prophetic Prism. And a Frogmite. Come on, keep coming. Get six. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Six. Keep coming. Come on. No? Alright. I honestly just, I had just assumed my opponent like didn't pass go, so... Alright, well that's not bad, so... We're gonna cast this, because it allows us to win next turn, possibly. And um, if my opponent kills it, at least next turn we get to cast one with Hydro Blast back up. So that's always good. So yeah, I think it's it's clear that Lightning Bolt should come out in this matchup instead of uh, staying in for Hydro Blast. I think Hydro Blast is a lot better against Affinity from this deck than I took it for. So that is definitely something of note. Um, there are also the another reason I'm not casting Attachment Probe is because it being zero mana is is my opinion so crucial to uh to winning. So all right, well they have one card in hand, so that's good. It's good for me. They could equip to the Frog Might to make it a three-three for fun. No, don't tap for a red. No, don't do it. Don't tap for a blue either. Tap for a green. Like play a Carapace Forger. No, don't do it. No. <laughs> a tog. Okay. Now, this is interesting because he could actually live. It, depending on, like, you know, how much I have. <laughs> A dispel. <coughs> okay. So, pro, so, pro, the, so this is right now, this is plus three. This is plus nine. If he doesn't block, my opponent actually dies. Right? But if my, let's say my opponent blocks with just the mirror enforcer... That means that I would need to make I would need to play four spells, I sp and I can do that because I can. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and pay two. If my opponent blocks with the Atog, my opponent is not dead because oh, my opponent would be dead because the Hydro Blast would remove it. A Kiln Fiend. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So. I attack and see what my opponent does. If they do not block, they're dead. Because what I can do is I can counter my own Hydro Blast. If my opponent blocks with everybody, then they're not dead, I don't think, right? Is my opponent just blocking with the Atog? Oh, they're blocking with the Germ. Okay, well, the Germ doesn't do anything, right? Okay. Uh Oh, I guess the germ does do something. It makes him survive at one. Dang. The germ makes him survive at one point of life. That is so unfortunate. Am I right about that? The germ makes him survive at one point of life? But Hydro Blast the Atog. I didn't even think about the germ to be honest. Oh, this sucks. Because I can't dispel anything. I'd have to draw another two male battle rage off the top, or I could put my opponent to one. And then I would have to draw some stuff off the top. A Hydro Blast, Timur Battle Rage, that's only ten. And yeah, my opponent would go to one. That's so unfortunate. Now, on the other hand, I could Timuriel Battle Rage, make my opponent sack some stuff, and then Hydro Blast it. But I don't think that's good. I think putting my opponent to one is probably better. Because the problem is, if I if I I can make this a thirteen, right, and make it twenty six. 
But then my opponent can just sack some stuff to the Atog. And that's not going to get me anywhere, because my opponent has more than enough permanence to be good. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, do our thing. Man, if this dispel was anything else, I would win. That is such... Ah. Stupid germ. <laughs> Stupid dispel. If it was literally, like, just any other type of spell that I could cast, I think I would win. No, I not even think. I know I'd win. Yep, my opponent goes to one. Now, my opponent does not win here. I mean, I, I do live, you know, for a little bit of time. And I can draw Shadow Rift. Um, I think I left Gut Shot in. I could pro I'm probably wrong. I don't think I left Gut Shot in. Okay, that's one of the best draws they could have had. Just a, another 4-4. Four, four. Did I mess up? I think I messed up. No, I, I don't think I messed up, really. I think it's just the Dispel got me. I think putting my opponent to 1 was best. Actually, Timur Battle Rage doesn't really save me, right? Like, Timur Battle Rage actually doesn't really win the game, because it wouldn't be enough. Uh, yeah. Oh well. It's unfortunate. It happens. Alright, so my opponent attacked me for 5, and that was it. We drew a gush. I'm just going to play Nivix Cyclops number 2 in past turn, and then I'll try to go off a little bit next turn. I don't really want to gush right now. I, d I can't lose. Unless my opponent plays some big sorcery that I don't know about. Because I, I, the most I can take right now is 9. Because I'm just block and block. So. The other, re the other reason is it also allows me to... Uh, gush into um, spells that I can actually cast. So that, that could be huge. Carapace Forger. Okay, well. I don't die next turn. But I certainly don't want to have to block either. <sighs> so many dispels, such little time. <laughs> Why dispel? Why? Why do you do this to me? Hydroblast. That <laughs> Flame Slash. Well, I, I guess that does something. So, Flame Slash, I guess you. And my opponent has to chump and trade. Well, they can chump, chump, but then I can play a creature and block. I, I killed the, um, the, uh, Colored creature because it makes my opponent think that, like, okay, maybe I have artifact destruction. Go ahead and attack for 14, technically. So now what my opponent can do is chump, chump, but then they'd have to draw a creature next turn that isn't a tog. Okay, so they are trading. And so now I don't have to block here. So now they might not be able to attack unless they draw another creature. So hopefully they draw on a Tog and attack me. And then I just end up winning the game. If they draw on a Tog, the smart play would be would be cast the Tog to see if it gets countered. Of course, you can't really go base on that because Hydroblast can also just kill it. So, Or hopefully they draw like a Galvanic Blast or something. Then they could Galvanic Blast see if it gets countered. <coughs> Excuse me. Oop, okay, so my opponent is... going to attack me? Not going to attack me? Man, if these dispels were just anything else. <laughs> just anything else. <laughs> Why? Uh, not you. Why? 
<laughs> I guess dis maybe dispel's not as good as bolt, but then again, I only have three dispels in the deck, so these could have just been the two dispels, not necessarily the bolt. Okay, so my opponent could have fling. Okay, well, now that's just being rude. My opponent knows about the other islands, so just gotta say go. Now, you see, this is just being rude now. <laughs> like, that, that's just rude. Like, now I would have won if one of these was a lightning bolt, if I just left in one lightning bolt. I mean, that, that's, that's just being rude right there. <laughs> My opponent has the cop red. All right. Uh, how do I win now? I don't, right? I have to like, yeah, I don't, I don't win anymore. Yeah, because once they untap, I can't win. All right. GG's. I have to scoop to the cop red. I I know I can't beat the cop red. I don't have anything in my deck to beat the cop red. So, oh, I guess I could draw Delver off the top and flip it. I guess that is true. Uh, I will take six for now. Could double block, but that doesn't get me anywhere. Okay, Gush is not a bad start. Into another Gush. Uh... I could gush again. I guess I might as well. Just draw more cards. Because I can just block and then, you know. Oh, you know why that was actually bad? Because my opponent can equip both of these and then, yeah. Well, there's the Delver. So, just got to say go now. So there is the Delver. We can, <laughs> we can discard a Dispel. So, we we have outs. We just need our opponent to brick. And my opponent did not do that. So that was interesting. I wonder if that means we're actually dead. Need my opponent to brick. Hit that brick wall. Yeah! Alright. Alright, well, they, they hit a brick wall. <laughs> we're not We're not dead. We are not dead. Just now we just need my Delver to flip. <laughs> I should not be F6. This, <laughs> this is not correct to F6. Alright. My opponent had moved over to the frog mine. I don't think I could have won anymore. I would cause th this Delver would not be able to live. And again, my opponent could have moved over. I don't know why my opponent is not just moving them over. I'm at two. So you might as well just move the, the Flare House over to the Frogmite. Unless I'm missing something. And, okay. Block, block. There's no way my opponent's just giving up. I mean, right? Please have drawn a Tog. Or my Delver flips. Just something. <laughs> Interesting. Did my opponent just concede the game? No! Another Delver! <laughs> Alright, well, attack with my Delver. Does the one point get through? This has been a pretty good game. If my opponent plays like a white removal spell at instant speed, I'm going to be kind of upset. Oh, wow! I, I can't believe we got there. I... I really can't believe it. I was going to scoop to that cop red, too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in round number four.